to grab a couple things and I just want to get out of the house so I feel like going to Target for some reason and Dollar Tree. My hair is not working with me today but it's okay. Um, I think I might vlog on my phone. I'll try while I'm in like Target and stuff because I always say I'm going to film inside but I'm always like sketched out that someone's like watching me. So I think I might do that and I'm trying to think of what else I was going to do. I think my cleaning day might be tomorrow because I am not motivated today. For some reason, I have not been sleeping very good. Like the past month, I feel like it has been. Every single night, my dogs will wake up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom and bother me to get up to open the door to let them out. And it happens like three times in the middle of the night, like 11 o'clock, 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m. Like literally it's all throughout the night and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> So I just have not been sleeping right. And I forgot to grab um, a new battery and memory card because I feel like this is gonna die soon. But almost all of my videos, you will see me wearing the same outfits. I have a closet full of clothes, but for some reason I keep gravitating towards the same outfits. Don't ask me why, they're just comfy and easy to throw on. These shirts I found at Ross a long time ago. I'm sure they still have them, they're in the one size fits all, but they're like stretchy. So you can, anyone can fit in these. But they had these shirts like for the longest time and I would go there and repurchase the same shirts in different colors multiple times. So I have the same exact shirt with the crisscross and everything from Ross. I bought it four times in the same exact color. And then I went back, I saw a pink about four of the same exact shirt don't know why I just like buy I'll literally show you hang on <laughs> let me go why am I out of breath but I'm the worst vlogger ever okay so I have all of these clothes I have tons I have a whole bunch drawer full of clothes but I literally purchased, like these are the same shirts from Ross, but I bought them like multiple times. Same thing with the white, same thing with the blue. I have a few of the same blue. Like they're all the same ex exact shirt, but don't know why, I just purchased a million of them. I'm obsessed. Like just in case one is dirty, I literally will still have it available. It's weird, but. That's my weird obsession. Let me put this down. Stay. Okay. So I need another battery. Let's see if this one, I don't know if that's done charging. But I need more memory cards. This thing is so cool. I bought it from Amazon and it just has like a whole bunch of memory card holders and I label them so I know what's what. Driving to get out of the house again. Wow, there's a lot of traffic. So, it is Halloween and I have nowhere to be, but I want to be out of my house because I just don't want to be home. Because I work Monday through Friday in my house and it drives me crazy, so I have to get out. I wish I need to research um, if there is a park around me that I can go to and like go for a walk or something like a trail I would love that instead of walking around Target and stuff it's not that bright out usually I go like early in the morning but I kind of was just like hanging out inside my house you saw I vlogged in the morning I was trying to put together that desk that I ordered from Amazon I was so excited for that to come and I waited like a while for that um, and it came broken and there's that I wonder if it's gonna be 
busy anywhere. Or if people are trying to figure out what they're doing for Halloween. I'm just so curious on what's gonna happen for Halloween. Like, are people trick or treating? It just makes me so sad. I don't get out of the house enough, so it gives me anxiety when I do get out of the house. Oh, I have to get my hair cut um, the end of November, so. Watching people shop like I don't know why I just feel like I'm there like shop. I don't know how to explain it, but I like watching other people shop <laughs> Oh, and I tried I tried that Charlie Dunkin Donuts drink the famous tiktoker Charlie she, I guess she has her own Dunkin Donuts drink. It is um, Cold brew coffee with um, a few pumps of caramel and some sort of milk. I can't remember what type of milk, but um, whole milk, I think. I could be wrong. But it tastes really good. It's not too sugary and it's not too, like sometimes Dunkin' Donuts, their coffees are not that great. Like they always put either way too much sugar in it or way too much syrup. So that every time I order that one, I feel like it's perfect. These are like really amazing and they smell really good for like your house and your car. So I'm gonna put it in my car. Okay. I'm probably gonna put one in my room too so I can smell it. But yeah, pretty sure. I'll just leave that in my car, it smells good. I was looking to see if they had um, marked down Halloween decor, but I guess not. So now I'm on my way to Wally World. There, I don't think I'll be able to film at all either. And my biggest pet peeve is when, first of all, when you're looking at something and someone's hovering over you, like waiting for you to leave to like look at the spot. And um, when someone's taking too long looking at a spot, like literally, I did like five laps around an aisle just to wait for this girl to get out of this, um, the dollar section they call it. Um, so I could look at the stuff, but she literally took forever. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you not want me to look? The air freshener thing smells pretty good. But yeah, I didn't find anything exciting that I really wanted. I don't know how vloggers do it. Like, I give them props. Like, who is someone that's really gutsy? Graveyard Girl. When she goes, um, her name's Bunny on YouTube. When she goes to like Walmart and stuff, I don't know how she's so gutsy and outgoing with the camera and doesn't get caught and like kicked out. Like, I don't know how she does that. And she has such an outgoing personality. I'm so shy that I'm like, here, where's this? Where's this? Like, I'm just too afraid of getting kicked out. I should drive somewhere really far away from my house and then try to record. Cause then I won't really care if I get kicked out. Cause, um, I don't live there, so that's a good idea. I should try that. Ooh, it is bright. Okay, I'm back from grocery shopping. I am exhausted. Cooking some boneless barbecue wings because I am hungry and that's what I'm craving. But um, don't go to the store when you're starving because you literally will buy everything and junk that's what I did. But I'm curious to see if I get any trick-or-treaters. I don't think I will, but we'll see. I bought like a whole thing of candy. Oh, and I wanna show you the bowl that I got from Walmart. It's really cute, oh cute. And obviously I've been eating the candy, so it's not as full as it was, but it's like a clear skull head. It is so cool, I got it from Walmart. I think it was like five bucks. I got everything. I have like Skittles, M&M's, I have um, Nerds, I have Smarties, and I have Snickers. Did I already say Snickers? Skittles, M&M's. I have like a mixture of everything. Just in case um, kids come, which I doubt they will, but 
we'll see. I just have to work four or five hours in the morning on Sunday, and then after that I'm free, so I might keep vlogging a little bit more. But I'm so excited for these boneless wings. I got like three boxes of them. I'm so hungry. But yeah, nothing too exciting. My um, mirror should be delivered by eight tonight. So I'm praying that is not broken. That's the one thing that I hope and pray is not broken. But yeah, I'm just bored. I literally was walking around Target. Oh, and another thing, I am so upset. Like it is October 31st. This is the last day of Halloween. You'd think all the Halloween stuff would still be out and like marked down. There was nothing. They were, Target and Walmart were already putting out Christmas stuff. Like there was nothing but candy left over. There was no like Halloween decor. That's what I was really looking forward to, like going to the stores. But I recorded just a little clip of Target because I was finally in an aisle like by myself that I could do it. So I did it off my phone. I don't know if it's blurry enough, but it's literally all Christmas. So I'll insert that. And that was all I could get. Walmart was a madhouse and so picked over. I felt like it's hurricane season because all the water was gone. Everything was gone. The chips were picked over. The drinks were picked over. The water was gone. Like it just felt like hurricane season slash COVID, like the beginning of COVID when everything was gone. But at least this time I got toilet paper. <laughs> that I'm happy about. But I'm just like ranting all day today. But I'm so sad. I have to take down all my Halloween stuff. And then time to put some of the Christmas stuff. Depending on how I feel tomorrow, I'm gonna start um, putting out some Christmas decor or maybe I should wait till next weekend. I'll wait till like next weekend. But that's what I'm doing the rest of the night. Pretty boring. I'm not doing anything. I might edit some of this video so it doesn't take me like a week to edit. I'm also, I want to try to film and get a video up every Sunday. And if I can't, I'm going to try every other Sunday. So definitely look out. I'll try my hardest to vlog a lot more. Even though my days are kind of boring, I don't do a whole lot. But... I'll try to do like something fun, like here and there. Here are the boneless wings. Honey barbecue, so yummy. I know this is random, but this is November 9th. I'm uploading this. I just wanted to share, I got these um, side tables or end tables from Amazon. They're all mirrored. It is so cute. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be, but they're really nice. This is super spacious. I love it. The couch I got from Amazon, this I got from Amazon, and then this is the second end table. They are so cute. They fit perfect. And then also, don't mind my mess. I also wanted to share, I bought some things off Chewy.com. Um, Chewy's not a subscription box, but you could always... Um, do an auto ship setup where stuff gets sent to you every single month or however you want to set it up. But Chewy is almost like Petco or Pets Mart, where you can order like dog food, toys, treats from um, Chewy.com. So I get the dogs dog food, treats, toys, and their flea stuff from Chewy.com. So I just got a huge shipment yesterday and I wanted to share. I also got some things from Sephora, which I wanted to share as well. But Chewy, I got, I already gave them this, but I wanted to put it back in here. That's why it's dirty. I literally just gave them this yesterday, but I thought it was so cute. It's like a little milk carton. My dogs love these like puzzle kind of toys. They have to get the squeaky toy out. And it comes with little gingerbread men, but it comes with like three or four of them. And they are obsessed with these. They hate when the squeakers are inside. They always have to get them out. But I got this one and then I got a second one. This has little like hedgehogs I think on them. And my dogs go nuts. They love these things so much. 
And then I also got, as you can see, there's one right there, these little Kong balls. They are so, the little Kong squeakers. These things are awesome. I feel like they last a really long time. My dogs love these. And this came in a pack of two, four, six. I just gave them two already. And then also, I got Aria more food. I get the Earthbound. Um, I don't really like this food. I think it's okay, but I do want to talk to the vet about different food that I can give Aria, like a weight control kind of food. Um, and then, let me get the second box. The second box, I have Paisley's food. I usually get both of their food at the same time. Um, this is for her, she had stones a long time ago. She had to get surgery for it. It was actually last year. She had stones, about like 50 of them in her bladder, I believe. Um, and the vet stated that we had to keep her on this so that this food, it dissolves the calcium that's in those stones so they don't come back. So this is the best food for her, he stated. Um, so we just keep purchasing this. It's a prescription food though. You have to get a prescribed um, prescription from the vet to get this. So we just get her that all the time. And then I also get these Top Dog Chews. They're antlers. Um, it came with two more. Let me see how many is in here. There's about two these things. My dogs love these little antlers but it came with um, four total. So there was two, four, so that's like $10 a piece because in total it was like $39 for the whole bag. And these things last forever, like months. My dogs love these. But um, I think that's such a good deal because if you go to PetSmart or, Pets Co or Petco, just for one antler alone, it's about like $40, so they're expensive. So I thought $39 for four of them, and they're big, like they're decent size. Um, was perfect. So I usually get those from here. And I also get um, bully sticks for my dogs. They love these. I just gave them one yesterday, so there's two missing. So together you get three, four, five, six, which is perfect. And they're the perfect size. They're not too big. Um, but this like cleans their teeth and it's so good for them. Like I, they love these so much. So I get the treats, the toys, and the dog food from Chewy.com. But I also, hang on, let me let my puppy in. They love when I get stuff from Chewy. What is that? So cute. Okay, so on to Sephora. I just got, I had to repurchase a couple items that I ran out of, but I also wanted to try out two new items. So I'll have to update you guys and let you know. I'll probably enter it in. I'll probably add it to this vlog. Like if I like the products or not. But Sephora, every single time I purchase at least like $25 or more, you can always get free samples. So definitely either look it up on the site for free samples, like the code to put in, or you can look online, just enter in Sephora um, promo codes or like discount codes and they'll always give you them. This time I got free like foundation samples. This is from Bobbi Brown. I love that because now you can test out other products without having to buy the whole entire product. Um, this is Innisfree. I don't know if I'm saying that right. A serum. I think it's for your hair. Yeah. 
free sample. And then also this free bag of stuff was a sample. These are all samples that I got for free. So we can open them up together. Alpha beta extra strength daily peel. Oh, that's cool. It's like a uh, moisturizer or like a uh, mask. The next product is, I can't pronounce that brand. I don't want to butcher it, but looks like another face serum. This is a Gucci perfume. I love Gucci. Their perfume smells so good. Let me test it. Yeah, that smells really good. <clears throat> it smells really like flowery. That smells good. Oops, oops, okay. And then next, I love this stuff, and this was a free sample. Focus. This was a free sample. It's the um, Kat Von D tattoo liner. I love this stuff, and it retails for like 20 bucks, the big size. So this is perfect. I don't have to buy a new one for a while. And then there's, I don't know why it's not focusing. Purity, I love this stuff, a face wash. This is Lancome Home. It's to take off your makeup, like a makeup remover. And then the last is the, looks like it's a um, moisturizer. Yeah, Belief Moisturizer. That's pretty cool. And these are all free samples, so I didn't even have to purchase them. You just have to look up those promo codes and you can get them. But I also got Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Love this for underneath my eyes. I got this to try out. I've never tried her palettes, the Natasha Denona palette. I've heard good things about it, so I really, really wanted to try it. And they look like neutral colors, so that's perfect. Um, Too Faced Born This Way. I love this foundation. I use it all the time. And it's um, natural beige. This I wanted to try as well. Fenty Beauty, it's a um, it's a cream contour. So it's a contour color for your cheeks, your nose, and your um, forehead. This stuff I love as well. The Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, love that. So it's, you spray on top of all your powders so they're not all like crusty and dusty. I finally got the mirror and the desk put together and on top of each other. It's a little crunched in my room because my room is not that big, but it turned out so incredibly cute. Of course, the top, I have to work on decluttering, but it turned out so cute. The part that was messed up on this desk is actually in the back, which no one will see, so it's okay that it's a little broken in the back, but everything works perfect. It was so cute. And then the mirror, and also this was the little makeup brush holder that I bought. And I put my beauty blenders, I got all of this from Amazon, the desk and the mirror and this little makeup holder, makeup brush holder. But I love this because it has a top that you can cover your makeup brushes so that like dog hair and stuff doesn't get in them when you wash them. Like I literally just wash them, let them dry and then put them in here so no dog hair gets in them. And then same with these, these are nice and clean. But yeah, it's awesome, I love this. I cannot wait to use it. It is so nice. And now I'm just working on getting a bench, like a little chair for this. But yeah, it looks so cute, it turned out so good. I love it, I finally have somewhere where I can put my makeup on because before I was just putting it on in my kitchen. 